Well, I must admit to a touch of surprise there, seeing 224 runs for Devon Malcolm. He comes in following the dismissal of Andrew Caddick. Glenn McGrath getting one to bounce just outside off stump, catching the edge. And Ian Healy now in pursuit of Rodney Marsh's record. Healy's the only other man over 300 uh, test dismissals. Dev Malcolm has an opportunity here to uh, improve his batting figures. Obviously, uh, Glenn McGrath has a score to settle before he gets a wicket. Feels as though he must feel as though uh, Devon Malcolm has won ahead of him at the moment in the bouncer stakes. I suppose fast bowlers think of these things. I've always known them as uh, relatively gentle souls. But uh, Devon Malcolm has never been totally averse to dropping in the occasional short pitcher. He hasn't minded whether it's been number one or number eleven. Oh, he stumped that one like a rocket. It was meant to be the Yorker, and unfortunately for McGrath, it turned out to be just a good length ball. And if Devon Malcolm was doing it by numbers, that one had four written all over it. And that one's going for four as well. That's a pretty useful shot because uh, Glenn McGrath got it in the block hole. We saw him thump a few at the Sydney Cricket Ground and there was a few pretty hefty blows in that lot. Perhaps he's got in mind to repeat the dose. Well, that wasn't a bad ball. Devon uh, Malcolm did something that uh, more recognised batsmen mightn't have been able to do. It's 9 for 298. 93 overs have been bowled, and Glenn McGraw will be looking to finish this off now. 3 for 67, his figures. Oh, well played. This is unbelievable. That's a uh, very elegant and confident uh, little push forward from uh, Devon Malcolm. Not uh, the sort of shot you associate with his batting. Well, let's have a look. I, I don't think his feet moved at any stage, but have a look how nice and straight his bat is. Whack. Take that. <laughs> He's got a pretty good bat there because that didn't hit anywhere near the centre. It's gone to the fence for four. Well played, Devon. That's 100 test runs for him against Australia. This is a huge moment in his career. Well, it's terrific entertainment, isn't it? Very frustrating for the bowler. He sees a straight ball that's blocked out. And he pitches the next one up, and Devon decides to swing and connects going to the boundary. Yes, after you've hit a fast bowler for four, that's when fast bowlers who are batsmen start to worry. This is uh, a worry for Devon now. What's he going to do? Oh. Whack again, and wow, that's hit him on the... Where did that hit him? On the toe? Or, in fact, it didn't hit him anywhere. I just think that uh, it was a slower ball, and he didn't pick it. <laughs> well, watch this. Well, clever bowling this. Very slow ball, and uh, he missed it. All ends up. Oh, he's bowled in. <laughs> that was a slower one again. Devon Malcolm has a weakness. It's the slower ball. <laughs> he cannot pick it up at all. <laughs> I think he got the fright of his life. Uh, slower balls look as if look as if they're going to be full tosses, and uh, I reckon I'm right in saying that it hit the base of the stumps. <laughs> Well, this was good bowling. Devon thinking that it was going to be uh, a lot higher than it was, and it suddenly dipped on him at the last, and uh, it was straight. That was the main thing. And uh, sadly, from England's point of view, Devon missed it. But he's provided us with some entertainment. He's also provided England with a few runs. Last partnership of uh, 23. That's uh, all out for 313.